serious, various opposition groups have put their differences aside to present a united front against President Bashar al-Assad. After days of negotiations in Doha, they signed off on the creation of the National Coalition for the Forces of the Syrian Revolution. Leading the new coalition is moderate cleric Ahmed Muaz al khatib He has called for government soldiers to defect and for all opposition supporters to unite. It's taken a week of intensive opposition meetings and a lot of pressure. But finally, it seems, agreement has been reached on creating a new unified leadership, a one-stop address for the hitherto fractured Syrian opposition. This is the man whose initiative won strong Western support and seems to have carried the day, Riyadh Saif. He came from inside the umbrella Syrian National Council. He and his backers persuaded the SNC to join up with other groups, diluting its own supremacy. We signed the agreement to create a coalition of 60 members of the op Syrian opposition, uh, some of them SNC and other opposers. Crucial in all this has been the role of the Muslim Brotherhood, the strongest faction in the SNC. It backed the new initiative. One of its leaders confirmed that the agreement had been signed. The Brotherhood may see the new coalition as the best way to overthrow the regime, bringing about free elections in Syria, which they would expect to win. But some SNC members have strong reservations. There's considerable mistrust of Western promises. Having agreed under pressure, they want to see those pledges of support materialize quickly. We have concerns because we had those promises more than once. The ball is now in the court of the international community. They are uh, uh, activists of uh, Syrian revolution. Most of them uh, had a very good sacrifice in their people uh, inside the country. Bringing the fractured opposition together was crucial for the new leadership structure to gain international legitimacy. The Doha conference was brokered by Qatar and backed by Turkey, two of the strongest supporters of the Syrian opposition. The United States as well as some European countries have also expressed support. As the diplomatic battles were resolved in Doha, the attacks in Syria continue. Helicopters circled Ras Al Ain, an area close to the Turkish border, firing on the free Syrian army who'd taken control of the town last week. Videos posted on the internet claimed to show Assad's troops targeting the area with tanks, with smoke seen billowing overhead. The latest clashes have forced another 9,000 Syrians to flee across the Turkish border, trying to find shelter in the ever-growing refugee camps. The international community has welcomed this new opposition leadership and coalition. Balancing the demands of so many disparate groups may be a challenge in the future, but showing a united front is vital to achieve the political change that so many in Syria want.